So this is a video that I created using pretty much just Thesea for the AI avatars and then I used Notebook LM for the audio and to put the script together. So here is the workflow in case you want to create your own video. The first thing that I did is I went to Notebook LM. You can go to notebooklm.google and try it for yourself. It's an awesome program. So I've done some longer videos on Notebook LM. I'm gonna leave the link right up here at the top of the screen. But basically all you do is upload all of the sources for the topic that you want to learn about. So of course, a lot of these sources are articles or websites about Edmodo. Now, if I click the plus button to the left, you can see some of the different content types that you can upload. You can upload things like a PDF file or even audio. There's options to take things from your Google Drive, website links, or YouTube videos and then the ability just to simply copy and paste text in that window. So now once all of your sources are uploaded to the left, Notebook LM is then going to draw all of that information and sort it in a variety of different ways. So this part is pretty cool. If you select the notebook guide, you can see some of the different content that it can create right over here in the middle of the screen. So some of the things that it created for me is a briefing document, which basically took all the information and synthesized it for me. There's also a study guide. And there it is, a study guide. So great for any kind of academic topic. It also gives you the option to create a timeline. This is amazing, especially for someone who might struggle with dates. It's just an amazing program. But the best thing that it does is if you click Notebook Guide, it's going to give you the ability to create an audio overview. This is essentially a podcast about the topic. You can see the one that it created right over here with six minutes and 42 seconds. It sounds awesome. Again, check out the video if you want to hear it. But if I click this option, I can select download and download the actual audio file. So from here, I am just about set. It's now time to create my avatars. So now I'm in Synthesia. I just started out with a blank project and rather than do a lot of the elements inside Synthesia, all I did was change to a green background because I'm going to use a green screen effect. And then I just select this option that says upload to upload my audio file. Now I ran into a little problem because my audio overview was about six minutes and 42 seconds and you can only upload an audio file with a max of five minutes. So I had to basically trim that file in half. But once I uploaded it, you'll notice that it, this one now says audio file. So I cut it to four minutes and it sounds a little bit like All this. Right. Diving back into school today. Okay, kind of similar. And then all I did is just duplicated this slide, switched my avatar now to the female voice, which is going to be the female voice on Notebook LM. And then I did the same thing. So I essentially have two scenes with the same exact audio track. And this time, it's not just a hack. It's about everything Edmodo was doing with our data. Right. That's all about kids' data online, especially yeah. under 13, right? Exactly. And now I'm going to fix this when I go back and edit, but this is one of the things that you have to do based on the limitations. So after I was finished, I just selected generate and then I was able to download a video of this. Now, I also created a separate video of just our male actor and our female actor not talking at all because there's scenes where I want to use both of them on camera. And like I said, they read the entire narration and I don't want to include the woman reading the male part. So you can see, and for this track, he says, hi there. And then hi he there. just basically waits 30 seconds of doing nothing. And I did use this video in parts, which I can show you in a second. Now, the last step for me was to take the video and put it in Final Cut to go and edit this all together. Now, this is just what I use. You can probably use a number of different editing programs. So I just wanna start off by showing you one thing. These are just those individual videos that I showed you a second ago. Here's the female part and here is the male part. And you can see just any of the elements that I found I put here as well as this animated background. But what I do wanna show you is remember just a second ago, I showed you just the still motion. So here's the first clip where we start off with our male host talking. I, I, diving back into school today. Twist. Edmodo. That so what you see is our male is talking. I created that second video of just our male and female host 
just sort of looking on camera, not talking, but at least that gives that an element of realism and I can show both of them on the screen at the same time rather than just one at a time, which I do later. So how the rest of the video kind of unfolds, you can see some more visuals. Here is our female speaker. Anytime I have visuals, I just kind of put them over the screen or on the side, lots of different ways to do this. So that's basically what I did. Now, if you watch the video, sometimes you'll see the male actor, sometimes you'll see a full screen of just one of the visuals, and then sometimes you'll see one of the actors, like this one, with uh, content over their shoulder, maybe like you would on a news or internet show. But that is basically it. It was just really using Notebook LM. It was using Synthesia. And it was really putting them together with an editing program. In this case, I used Final Cut. And I think the final result is pretty cool. So go ahead and check this out. You can try Notebook LM right now. Go ahead, see if you can add the audio to Synthesia. And let's see what your video will look like. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, I would love it if you could subscribe. And of course, as always, if you have questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment area below.